this video is going to be a review on this Game Start gaming mouse that I bought. Sum up in the front, I would definitely not recommend buying this mouse. I really regret buying this mouse and I would everyone recommend not buying this mouse. But let's go into some of the details. Let's start. Uh, first of all, you should note that you see that the front is not very colored at the moment. This is because I ripped off the LEDs in the front. Um, which brings us to the first bad point. So usually it's uh, glowing in the front as well, much much uh, brighter. And this brings us to the next, or to the first point. Why did I actually rip out the LEDs? Because they were simply too bright. Uh, when it's bright outside, there is no problem, but if it's not bright outside, if it's darker outside, or if it's darker in the room, then these LEDs are so bright that they actually disturb the view of the screen that was making it necessary to actually rip them out. Actually, this is still too bright, so it brings me to the next point. I can actually not use the nice looking lights, but instead I have to turn it completely off, otherwise it's very disturbing. Which is also because the colors are constantly changing, bringing us to the next point. It's not possible to stop the color changing. I read online that maybe it's possible if you download the software and change it, but that's not possible for me. So. I can't change the color or I can't like fixate the color on one single color while I would really like to have this single color. And as you just saw, there's this switch from the blue to the red, which is also very disturbing if you if you work in the night and you constantly have this change, this chunk change, very quick change from one color to the other. Also very, very bad point. Okay, next bad point. The mouse does not keep its DPI value. That means of course, if you keep the computer running, it keeps the value, but if you if you turn off the computer, if you restart the computer, if you put it to sleep, then the DPI value is reset. So you, if you use, for example, a, the third or fourth DPI value, you always have to reset the value after you turned on the computer. Speaking of the manual, the manual does not tell you that this can turn on and off the light. So you press one of the side buttons plus the DPI value and you can turn off and on the light. This is only, you have to figure this out on your own or on the internet. Yeah, on your own, on the internet. Uh, also, as the DPI value is reset, the coloring is also reset. Every time you reboot the computer, the coloring starts again. So every time after rebooting the computer, I have to manually turn it off again. Not so important bad point is that it looks pretty cheap. You don't probably see this on the video at the moment but the gray is pretty cheap on the side and um, yeah mostly the gray is pretty cheap on the side but let me also show the bottom of the mouse for me personally I think the mouse is for my hands the mouse is a little bit too big and also you can see that the sides are like tilted outwards which makes it a little bit more difficult to lift it up so you can only lift it up here in the front and for me, this is a little bit difficult to do, actually. I prefer a mouse that like rounds up in the bottom, but it's just a personal note. Okay, enough of the bad stuff. What, what is good on this mouse? Um, it's in, in, in that regard, it's a gaming mouse. It, the DPI value is good. So it, I don't know. I don't know the exact DPI's value, 2000, 4000. I have no idea. But you don't have the problem that if you move the mouse quickly that the mouse is not moving on screen. So that's very good. Another very, very nice feature is that you can see the scroll wheel that is here. Uh, you can reach it actually from here. That means a user scroll wheel can only be scrolled in this regard. So you can only have this amount of scrolling. But this very scroll wheel, you can actually reach out in the front and have a much, much greater scrolling. On your screen just this is very very convenient especially when you have long lists you have to go through speaking of the scroll wheel brings me to the next bad point actually the scroll wheel button is actually quite hard to press the would be much nicer if they would have like only 50% um, yeah that's so far to the review maybe for anyone who wants to open the mouse in order to open it you have to take off this part and you have two screws left right and then you can probably you see that I already worked on here then you can open the shell and slowly get inside it's actually not that that difficult you don't break stuff so easily doable 
Thanks for watching.